fragile, hanging in the vastness of space. This view of ourselves from lunar distance would change the way we think about Earth for all time. It raised profound questions, especially those associated with the Earth's finiteness and unlimited resources. The next two flights, Apollos 9 and 10, would continue dress rehearsals for the first lunar landing. All systems were indeed Doctors ready. Doctors in the Mercury Control Center and the blockhouse monitor Shepard's physiological status during the countdown. Astronaut Gordon Cooper, assigned to the blockhouse during the launch operation, stays in direct voice contact with Shepard. Power for the in-flight control systems, both automatic and manual. Power to fire the reverse rockets that slow the spacecraft and bring it back from orbit. A shield against the blazing heat of re-entry friction. Roger, understand. Get it set, Hawaii. Or like, uh, the vaporized material streaming from the joint indicates there was not complete sealing action within the joint. This second view is from camera E60. The smoke can be seen between the right SRB and the external tank and initially moves in the upward direction. The angle between this view and E63 is approximately 100 degrees. With E60 and E63 side by side, it is clear that when smoke is first visible to camera E60, it is not yet visible to E63. 0.2 seconds later, it becomes visible to E63 and is seen in multiple lobes or puffs, reaching maximum visibility at about 1.9 seconds. The station seconds. evolves considerably from the beginning of its assembly in 1998, with each mission building upon the success of the previous flight. The station sees the addition of components providing power, air, communication, living accommodations, and a laboratory for scientific work. The architecture of the station also becomes more evident as parts of its 350-foot support truss are added a section at a time. Actually building the station in space involves a combination of techniques. Robots built by Canada move the giant station pieces into place. Both the shuttle robot arm and the station's Canadon 2 have proven to be invaluable in the assembly of the outpost.